Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some fair conditions across the region this morning. No chances of precipitation or lightning today. Just seeing a little bit of cirrus cloudiness as well as some fair weather cumulus clouds cloudiness this morning. So looking like good conditions today. And we'll see that area high pressure that's providing these good conditions on our surface analysis. Uh, but before we get there, looking at our sounding, at, we have freezing level at 13,000 feet. Winds out of the north around 15 to 20 knots and becoming more westerly at 9,000 feet and seeing a more of a west-southwesterly wind in the upper levels this morning around 46 knots at 25,000 feet and that's our peak wind. So looking at that surface analysis, as I mentioned, high pressure building in the area today. We'll see that area high pressure build off to the northeast for tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll have a weak area low pressure that will develop off the Carolina coast. And that's going to give us some northeasterly flow across the region for later today into tomorrow. But we will have dry conditions continuing through tomorrow before we see a slight chance of some drizzle or light rain shower Friday morning. So taking a look at the Europe, excuse me, the satellite imagery this morning, you can see we do have that cloud cover off the coast and continuing to remain off the coast. The cirrus cloud is seeing some fair weather cumulus clouds starting to pop up this morning. And we'll continue to see, in general, mostly sunny skies today. So looking at our European model, we'll see a high pressure remaining in control for today. And then moving into tomorrow, you can see an area, weak area low pressure off the coast that's going to provide us with those onshore winds. We'll see, in general, mostly sunny skies for the first half of the day on Thursday, then seeing partly cloudy skies and can continuing to increase that cloud coverage for Thursday night into Friday, seeing mostly cloudy skies to overcast skies by Friday morning. Looks like we will have a good amount of low-level cloud coverage in here as well on Friday morning, with a slight chance of some drizzle or a light rain shower. Then we move into Saturday, excuse me, Saturday, we'll see uh, a weak boundary across the region and an upper level ridge off our coast in association with a Bermuda high pressure, that's going to provide us with uh, slight chances of some showers or thunderstorms on Saturday. Most likely uh, won't see it, only going to be about a 20 to 25 percent, but we will increase our humidity values as well as our instability on Saturday, so can't rule out that shower or thunderstorm with that weak boundary over the region. And for Sunday, we'll see continuing with that upper level ridge or that uh, Bermuda high off the coast, that's going to give us uh, some continued warm and humid conditions, slight chances of showers and thunderstorms popping up in the afternoon, most likely won't see it on Sunday, and continuing into Monday, very similar weather pattern, uh, a little bit warmer on Monday as we'll have that ridge building in a bit stronger for Monday, so could see a degree or two warmer on Monday, and then into Tuesday of next week, continuing with a very similar weather pattern, we'll see that area of high pressure continuing to dominate off the coast and ridging into the mid-Atlantic and giving us warm and humid conditions. So looking at our risk chart for today, a very comfortable day across the region. Highs around 74 degrees here at Wallops, seeing northeasterly winds possibly gusting up as high as 20 knots this afternoon. But overall, pleasant day. No chances of precipitation or lightning, as I mentioned. We'll see a low tonight around 58 and northeasterly winds increasing by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. 8 to 13 knots, gusting to 17 knots are possible. Looking at our 24-hour terminal forecast, we'll see VFR conditions today uh, with just uh, mainly a little bit of cumulus clouds around four to 5,000 feet, as well as some cirrus clouds around 25,000 feet. Our tides are slightly above normal and looking at Thursday and Friday. Thursday, partly cloudy to mostly sunny, slightly breezy by early afternoon. We'll see a high of 74 degrees. Have a yellow for our winds Thursday afternoon. See, could see gusts near 23 to 24 knots. Thursday night, partly cloudy to overcast. Excuse me, mostly cloudy to overcast. Low clouds lightly. Likely slight chance of drizzle or a light rain shower. We'll see a low of 64 degrees. See an orange for our ceilings. So should see those ceilings below 500 feet for a time. Thursday night. And then for Friday, we'll see mostly cloudy to overcast skies during the morning becoming uh, partly to mostly cloudy in the afternoon. We'll see a slight chance of some drizzle or a light rain shower uh, Friday morning. See a high around 80 on Friday. Uh, more humid on Friday as well. And we'll see those uh, precipitation chances around 20% for uh, late Thursday night 
into early Friday morning. We'll also see a slight chance of those low clouds after 12Z on Friday morning. So looking at the next seven days, we'll see those cooler conditions for today and tomorrow with temperatures with highs in the mid-70s. We'll see lower 80s for Friday and for Saturday with slight chances of showers on Friday morning, slight chance of a thunderstorm or a shower on Saturday. Then we'll see uh, very slight chances of showers and thunderstorms popping up in the afternoon hours of Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, looking like those chances should be under 15% at this time. And we'll see temperatures slowly moderating from the lower to mid 80s into the mid to upper 80s from Sunday through Tuesday of next week. We'll see those overnight lows becoming fairly uncomfortable in the lower to mid 70s as well uh, for that uh, end of the weekend into early next week. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day.